Right, here we are in the engine build room. Uh, this week, Richard's been um, having a look at a, a pre-crossflow Kent engine. The uh, customer brought this in, um, partially assembled, but with a few issues. Uh, so we've stripped it down, cleaned out the block, um, and then we've just been building everything back up. Unfortunately, we've got some compression uh, issues. And, uh, we're having to, to raise the compression on it because it was very, very low. Uh, customer wanted to have a little bit more performance, so we're going for um, a fast road cam and um, a duplex chain with uh, a variable adjustment on the, on the cam timing. Uh, head work is pretty much complete now, it's got a new set of valves. Uh, we just got to uh, skim the head and uh, deck the block to get the compression ratios, and it's a bit pitted, so we need to sort all those surfaces out then it should be ready for assembly. Just, just as a bit of information, if you ever wanted to know the difference uh, and why we call these things cross-flow or pre-cross-flow, a cylinder head which um, has uh, inlet and exhaust uh, porting on the same side is not a cross-flow, so they full term that a pre-cross-flow. If you have inlet and exhaust on opposite sides, they term that a, a cross-flow engine. This is a, a pre-cross-flow 1500, uh, uh, which is going to a Cortina um, and uh, just slightly overboard uh, to plus 20 and it's running on uh, Marlon Motorsport uh, bearing shells, uh, ACL cams, Ken cams and valve train which um, we found to, be, found to be the best. Once the machining's all done, we've done the dummy build, um, we've done all our calculations so as soon as, uh, as, soon as we've got this uh, material thickness correct We'll be going back together with a lovely uh, Cometic multi-layer steel egg gasket uh, and should be good to go back into the customer's car in a couple of weeks' time.